We are going to discuss the general surgery questions that are asked in any SS November 2022. So, the discussion of the questions and recall was done on the same day. Now, this discussion is to for the with the reference from the respective books of uh, Bailey and Love, 27th edition, Subiston, 21st edition and Schwartz, 11th edition. The question was, what does FR in Foley's mean? So, FR in Foley's mean is the outer circumference, correct? Outer circumference. Where is it given? It is given in Subiston 21st edition, line to line. Endoscopes and Foley's catheter are sized in French. This means FR and size system which refers to the outer circumference of the instrument in millimeters. Very, very clearly said in 21st edition of Subiston, page number 2064. Okay. Question 2. Case scenario of a pneumothorax was asked and asked about the boundaries of safety. So, by triangle of safety, you know that it is anteriorly okay, bounded by pectoralis uh, major and uh, posteriorly by latissimus dorsi and uh, below by the superior border of the fifth rib. So, it is the fifth rib. Okay, So, this is the boundary of this is pectoralis major and this is latissimus dorsi and uh, this will be the apex and this will approximately correspond to mid axillary line mid axillary line and uh, the ideal placement of ICD will be in this place. Okay, The superior border of the rib in this space. So, it causes less damage when you put it into that. So, all that are in reference to this except for mid clavicular line. Okay, Mid clavicular line. So, the same has been well explained in Bailey and Lowe about the triangle of safety what you have discussed. Okay. Now, SIRS which is not characteristic of. So, for all the options which are given here with regard to heart rate, temperature and respiratory rate and count. The answer is heart rate because heart rate has to be more than 90. Okay. More than 90. See that SIRS 2 is of 2 of hyperthermia more than 38 degrees centigrade or hypothermia less than 36. Tachycardia more than 90, no beta blocker or tachypnea more than 20 per minute and white blood cell count of more than 12 in 10 to the power of 9 per liter or less than 4 in 10 to the power of 9 per liter. So, the right answer should be heart rate. Which reads sexually transmitted disease in adults. So, sexually transmitted uh, disease in adults, except seborrheic keratosis is a benign and hyperkeratotic scaly lesion. Uh, they are frequently pigmented, common in dorsum of the hand or the older adults. Occasionally, confusion occurs in the pigmented basis of carcinoma is necessarily the superficial scaly lesion or best treated by shave excision and structures and sutures are unnecessary and rapid reepithization occurs. So, the answer should be seborrheic seborrheic keratosis. Okay, among the options given option, the best answer is seborrheic keratosis. Acute extra axial hemorrhage is common from. So, the right answer should be middle meningeal artery. So, middle meningeal artery causes an extra dural hematoma, extra axial hemorrhage. Okay, and uh, this is given in Bailey and Love, 27th edition, page number 333. Extra dural hematoma is a non surgical emergency. It results from the rupture of artery or the vein or venous sinuses and associated with skull fracture. The classical injury of the fracture is the squamous temporal bone and associated with the damage of middle meningeal artery. Okay, very clear. Next question. Compression of which structure causes Cushing stride? It is very, very clear. The answer should be medulla. It is just to know the answer here and what questions was asked, what is the area is asked to give an idea. I am discussing this. In detail discussion we had on the same day of the exam is uploaded in the speed learning app and today we are discussing with the reference what is given in the respective books. Okay. So, you can see that in 27th edition of Bailey and 328 and 329, uh, the cerebellar transular herniation through forum and magnum compresses the medullary vasomotor and respiratory centers, classically producing Cushing's triad, hypotension, bradycardia and irregular respiration. Very, very clearly said. Okay. So, you should take this reference. Now, the initial risk stratification criteria for differentiated thyroid cancer includes all except uh, nodal uh, status, histology, nodal size and symptoms, answer is symptoms. Symptom is not included uh, as per with reference. The rest of the criteria of number of nodes at the size of the nodes and histopathology are included in the risk stratification for thyroid cancer. Okay. Which structure is not present in spermatic cord? A very, very clear question. The answer is ileoingular now. Ileoingular now is closely associated, but not a structure in the cord. So, it is not within the cord structure, but general branch of genitive femoral nerve and the testicular artery, pampiniform plexus are within the cord, but ileoingular now is outside of the cord. But within the inguinal canal, uh, in close relation to the inguinal canal. Okay. And uh, this is well explained in Subdistant 21st edition, page number 1083. Okay. 
So, iliointeral now courses with the spermatic cord to emerge from the external inguinal ring. Okay, with its terminal branches providing sensory innervation to the skin of the inguinal region, the scrotum or labia. Okay, but it is not a card structure. PTH falses which is false, increases calcium absorption, increases phosphate absorption, vitamin D increases calcium and phosphate absorption from the gut and the kidney, all are correct. Inhibitory effect on osteoblast and osteoclast is not correct because it has, I mean induces the osteoblast and osteoclastic activity, it does not inhibit, thereby causing demineralization of the bone. Okay, you can see 27th edition of Bailey and 825, it clearly says PTH acts on osteoblast and osteoclast to increase the bone turnover. It, so, it, it is not inhibitory. It in case induces, thereby increasing the amount of calcium in the extracellular space. Very, very clearly said. Okay. Next, about the pancreatic transplantation, which is wrong. See, pancreatic transplantation, the wrong is to place the donor pancreas anatomical position. No, no, it is heterotrophic transplant. So, both the C loop of duodenum along with the pancreas is removed and it can be sutured to the intestine or urinary bladder. It can be sutured to the urinary bladder also. Okay. So, it is called uh, bladder drainage. If we switch it to the intestine, it is called enteric drainage. And usually, you will put the pancreas in the right side and kidney on the left iliac fossa. Right iliac fossa and pancreas, left iliac fossa for kidney. It is done uh, along with the kidney. So, it is mostly SPK or PAK. Simultaneous pancreatic and kidney transplant or pancreas after kidney transplant. So, uh, so, it is a heterotrophic transplant. Duodenum sutured to bladder is correct. Vessels are sutured to external iliac, yes. Pancreas and duodenum are harvested together. Of course, they are harvested together. Okay, because all the exocrine uh, pancreatic juice opens into the duodenum. So, it has to be taken along with the uh, seal of duodenum. So, both the ends has to be stapled and closed and, and to be anastomosed to the appropriate structures. The same has been explained in Bailey in 1552 and 1553. Image uh, showing in the skull base marked foramen oval. So, which structures for possess in foramen oval? I hope this was the question which was asked. If it is uh, the structure passing through foramen oval, it will be male structure. So, you know that it is a male which goes mandibular now, accessory middle meningeal artery, lesser petrosal now and emissary veins connecting the pterygoid venous plexus to the cavernous sinus. Okay. So, whatever the image which is given accordingly, what is appropriate, you kindly answer accordingly. About male breast cancer, which is wrong. Plain filter is important, risk factor, yes. Canagamasia, uh, due to hyperestrogenism is a risk factor, yes. Black men is associated with increased uh, mortality. Pages is less common in male than female. The right answer is C. So, of course, pages is less common in male than female. That is correct. All A and B are correct. Uh, Canagamasia along with Klein filter syndrome is a risk factor. The black men associated with increased mortality is not an appropriate defined fact. So, the rest of all the statements are substantiated in Bailey 27th edition, page number 882. Okay, carcinoma of the male breast accounts for less than 0.5% of all cancers of the breast. And known predisposing factors include gynecomasia, see that gynecomasia, and excess and endogenous and exogenous estrogen, as female tend to be present with the lump and most commonly inflating ductal carcinoma, as in female. It tends to present like a lump, yes. Male breast cancer accounts for less than 1% of all breast cancers and less than 0.5% uh, of male cancer deaths in the United States. So, that is the statistics we have. Rest of all the three statements given in the questions are right, except option C. Day 3 to 5 wound healing, which type of collagen is more common? The answer is type 3 collagen. It is a factual question. So, the answer is very, very clear and clear cut. Okay. So, the I have given you the references and you can go through uh, accordingly from Robbins. Okay. Superior orbital fixture structures not passing through. Uh, so, it is uh, the fourth nerve, sixth nerve, superior ophthalmic vein and superior ophthalmic artery. Fourth nerve, sixth nerve goes, superior inferior ophthalmic vein goes, but not the superior ophthalmic artery. So, it is very, very clearly said. The superior and inferior division of oculomotor nerve, nasociliary nerve, abducen nerve and uh, sympathetic roots and uh, trochlear nerve, fourth nerve, recurrent uh, meningeal branch of lacrimal artery and superior and inferior ophthalmic vein goes, but does not what is given in the question is uh, superior ophthalmic artery does not go. Correct? Yes. Now, gold standard investigation for CSF rhinorrhea. Very, very simple and straightforward question. The answer is beta transferring. Initially, you do a hollow test. Put it in a tissue paper or a white cloth. You will see a double ring sign. Okay? It is a hollow sign. But the best investigation and to specific investigation is a beta transferring testing. Correct? For CSF. Very, very clearly said. Beta 2 transferrin is a protein present in CF, not in nasal discharge. Very, very clearly said. Okay. 
Carcinoid true is carcinoid true. Histamine is the most common vasoactive. No, sertraline is the most common vasoactive. Only found in appendix, stomach, and small bowel is wrong because the overall system is GIT, and it is also found in rest of the other organs also, even in the lungs as well. Multiple is rare. No, multiple is common. So the right answer is classical flushing with alcohol. Yes, of course, classical flushing can happen with alcohol, chemotherapy to agents, biopsies, angiography, and all this can also predispose for flushing. Okay, again, Bailey and Low, uh, 27th edition and 1252 very clearly says, yes, and whatever is uh, other uh, options are counted by the explanation given uh, in Bailey and 1252 in 27th edition and very, very substantive statement, classical flushing attacks are induced by alcohol. So, it is taken word to word from Bailey. Now, following is not included in Japanese guidelines of an endoscopic resection for early gastric cancer. So, differentiated histopathology, ulceration and I mean elevated lesion size of less than 2 cm, no submucosal involvement. The right answer is ulceration. So, the right answer is ulceration and the standard because the standard criteria for endoscopic resection of gastric carcinoma are to be tumor confined to the mucosa, absence of lymphocytes, invasion, non-ulcerated tumor less than 2 cm diameter. And the right answer is ulcerated. It is C. It is non-ulcerated. Here the option is given as ulceration. Okay. Now, true about thyroid. Pyramidal lobe is present in all. Pyramidal lobe is over posterior. Pyramidal lobe is formed by the terminal part of thyroglossal duct and parafollicular cells are present at the medial aspect of the thyroid. No, it is a superior aspect, superior pole. They are placed in the superior most commonly. That is the reason why medullary thyroid cancer are more commonly seen in the superior bowl of thyroid. So, this is the appropriate statement. Okay. So, right in the middle, pyramidal lobe is right in the middle and anterior and pyramidal lobe is not present in all. So, the same is uh, very, very clearly said uh, in 21st edition of uh, Subistin and 875 page number. Question number 20. T1 bladder carcinoma diagnosed after TURBT with negative margin. Next best answer will be the intravesical BCG is the right answer. And uh, intravesical BCG, if contraindicated, then intravesical chemotherapeutic agent has to be given. Okay. And uh, so, page number 27th edition or page number 1447. Okay. So, in situ lesions, yes, T1 lesions, all this should go for intravesical BCG. If any specific contraindication is there, then you should give intravesical chemo. Okay. Next question. 40 year old female with pheochromocytoma having headache, palpitation, confusion, the best management is. Various combinations with respect to beta blocker is given. And uh, the answer should be first you should give alpha blocker. Then if the patient develops tachycardia, then you should give beta blocker. So first alpha blocker, only then beta blocker. Okay, this is with regard to pheochromocytoma. Understood? And uh, drug of choice is phenoxybenzamine. Pap smear shows, ask us, that is atypical squamous cells for undetermined significance. Further will be colposcopy. So, you should do a colposcopic examination and uh, as given in Substance 21st edition. So, if any abnormal cytology is seen and uh, you should do a colposcopic evaluation of the cervix with a biopsy of acido white lesion with uh, vascular changes, mosaicism, punctation, suggestive of CAN and is recommended for patients who have abnormal uh, cervical cancer screening results. So, the right answer is colposcopic evaluation. Less common thyrotoxicosis, irritability, palpitation, alopecia and sweating. So, the right answer is alopecia. Okay, alopecia. So, rest of all common symptoms of thyrotoxicosis include anxiety, palpitation, weight loss, diaphoresis, tachycardia, tachyarrhythmias, congestive heart failure, GA symptoms, dysfunctions and CNS symptoms. All that except for alopecia. Now, Barrett's esophagus, it is very simple, any intestinal type of metaplasia is called Barrett's, the right answer is columnar metaplasia, straightforward and a simple question. So, any SR general surgery questions are very, very straightforward and simple and you should all take this exam actually and you will definitely enjoy these exams. Two months ago, surgery was done for stomach pathology, no complaints of palpitation. So, this is something to do with the dumping syndrome, okay and uh, so, it is the cause is the hypoglycemia. Yes, and hypoglycemia is most common for palpitation and it could be because of the late dumping, late dumping, early dumping and late dumping. Is it? Most of things are something to do with the late dumping here. Okay, Hypoglycemia is the most important key factor. Early dumping is because of a vasomotor symptom, because of diarrhea. Okay. So, even there you can get uh, tachycardia and all those symptoms, but uh, this question stem of what I have discussed with the students looks like a late dumping. Okay. 
Next question. PSA levels are increased in which of the following? After ejaculation, BPH, prostatic cancer. More than two answers are correct, then the answer should be all of them. PSA levels. Okay. Measurement of serum PSA is widely used to assess the diagnosis and management of prostate cancer and can be raised other than the prostate cancers also. Okay.